Hey guys, what's up? It's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another reseller vlog. So today I got up, got my kid ready for school, got her off to school, and then I got myself ready. I did not go to the gym this morning. We're actually, we're actually going to go tonight. Um, but I have a, a lot of things on my to-do list today. Um, I did upload a video already to YouTube, so that's done. I edited that video last night and I am about to record another video, which will be the items that sold in under 24 hours on Poshmark and eBay. That'll be up maybe at the end of the week. I don't know yet. It depends on when I'm able to edit the video. So I'm going to do that. And then I have to go to my storage unit. I was going to get the storage unit up, but it is a 10 by 25 and I pay $161 a month for it. Climate controlled. And apparently, according to the salesperson, they go for $250 a month now. So I was like, I'll hold on to it until something else closer to me opens up. Um, but I don't think I'll find anything that cheap. So it is a mess. I don't know if you saw the video that I put out um, where I showed you my garage. It's not as bad as a garage, but it's kind of bad. Um, I started packing everything up because I thought I was going to have to move it all here. But I am going to unpack everything and reorganize. So I will bring you along for that process. It is climate controlled, but there's no power inside. So it's a little dark. I'm going to bring a portable light and my little portable battery, the USB battery, hopefully that thing that I think is called a power bank or whatever. Um, hopefully that'll give me enough light to do what I got to do. So after I organize, I have one item I need to get measurements for. I have four items that are going out that need to be shipped today. Um, and yeah, I think that's the bulk of what I'll be doing today. So I'm going to go ahead and record this video I need to get recorded and I will be back. All right. So I'm about to go to my storage unit. So I got this light from the Goodwill outlet. It reminded me of like an uh, Apple product. I don't think it is. But anyway, so it works with a USB. So I charged up this black web power bank and I'm gonna use this to hopefully run that in the storage unit. I have to take a measurement of a loafer Randall shoe for somebody who probably won't even respond back after I list that. And my book. That is what I'm going to take with me to the storage unit. I don't remember if I fed you this morning or not. That's pretty bad. Are you hungry? Do you want some food? <gasps> you want food? Yep, he's hungry. Guess I gotta feed them real quick. It's not a normal day if I don't lose my keys. Found them though. So, this is a wreck. It's just a wreck. I'm gonna try to hook up this light, see if I can get some light in here, and I'm gonna get organizing. I'll be right back. Well, that's as much light as I'm gonna get. So I'm going to start organizing, and when I come back to this video, everything will be pretty and clean. All right, so, finally, I fixed it. <laughs> so I've got all my shirts, jeans, pants, skirts are in these boxes. Boots are in those boxes. All oh, my shoes. I got all the shoes stacked. Got them in here. And I have one more of these little cubby things to put up. And I have a bag down here of some shoes I got to get. I think it's time to have a shoe sale because <laughs> I've got way too many. Coats, jackets. Shirts down here that I've got to get put away, but I gotta bag them up. All of this is gonna be donated. This is all trash. And all of this is unlisted stuff for eBay and Poshmark that I needs it needs to be listed. So task complete. 
All right, so I am done at the storage unit now. I have the back full of stuff that I wouldn't get listed on eBay tonight. There are things that my mom bought from like the Dream Deal store a long time ago. She just never got around to listing them, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them listed. Um, I pulled my shipments and I'm gonna go home, get those done. I think I'm gonna go get some lunch and I may stop at a thrift store if there's one on the way. I think there's a His House that way. And then there is a yeah, I'll probably go to his house. I don't know yet. I'm debating on where I want to go. So, we'll figure that out. But anyway, I'm going to go to the thrift store probably. Might as well stop at Goodwill. Um, I'm going to go in here and see if I can find anything good. So, I found these J. Crew flats. I didn't get them. They were factory. And that's like 10 to 15 bucks. And then I found these Danskos. They were a little scuffed up. I probably could have fixed them up, but they were kind of oversaturated. So the next thing that I found was this Lily Pulitzer dress. However, the beads were damaged on one side, as you can see right there. And then I ran across this Adidas oversized sweater. It did have a snag, which could be easily fixed, but there was actually a stain at the very bottom. So I just went ahead and put it back The next item were these Aritzia Sunday Best pants. They're like a wide leg, loose khaki type pant. Um, they're in good shape. There's no stains on them. On the back, there was like an indention where I guess they were, you know, folded up on top of things in the bag when the person donated them. That should be able to be repaired pretty quickly. So I will get that fixed. Somebody's at my door. Then I found this free people top, which was a floral. It was kind of pretty and oversized, so I decided to grab it. Um, typically, these things sell for like 20, 25 bucks. The next thing that I picked up was this other free people top. It was a little longer, and actually I think it might be a dress, a mini dress, but it looked more like a tunic in my opinion, so I grabbed it just to grab it. This is a really funky vintage 90s Gatano shirt. I did not get it, but I just thought it was cool, so I wanted to show you guys. The Goodwill. So I found these Jimmy Choo sandals. They'll go for about 30. And then this fake, fake, fake Tory Burch, which I bought anyway because it was 95 cents. I'm going to clean it up and use it. <laughs> Alright, so I just walked next door to the Goodwill outlet after I left the Goodwill retail side. And I grabbed a few things I'll show you guys real quick. Um, mainly shoes. So I got these for my daughter. I thought they were super cute. I got these Keens. They need to be cleaned up a bit. But these were really nice. Um, I tried to get everything over a size 7. I did get these Divas, D-I-B-A's. Uh, the only reason I got them was because they're in really good shape. They're like brand new. Um, and of course, they're lace-up boots. I like these types. I like selling these. And I mean, I could probably get 25 bucks for them if I'm lucky. These are a brand called Chocolate Blue. And these should sell for around 30, 35 bucks. Got a pair of Birkenstocks. These are size 40, so that's like a size 9 in women's, 7 in men's. They're like a, I don't know what color that is. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, they're in pretty good shape. A little bit of wear right here, but they should sell for about 25, 30 bucks, if not more. I grabbed these Doc Martens. These are so cute. So these are like a Mary Jane. They're kind of chunky, like super, super cute. These are size that's size four that's not size four I don't I don't know anyway it says it's a size four I didn't look at this size so I mean maybe it is a size four but I don't think that's right it's an awful big size four anyway I don't know I'll have to look that up so I got this bag I don't know what the brand is I can't really tell it looks like it says Xavier Drake I don't think that's what it says though um, it's got like it's just this brown leather bag right and this is the label I don't know if anybody can even see it but that I'll try to post a picture up here um, so you can see it inside the lining is like this woman um, yeah I've got to try to figure out what 
this name is. I'll eventually figure it out. It does need some cleaning, but that should be no issue. I found a pair of Jimmy Choo's. These are just sandals, but regardless, I mean, they're not in really bad shape or anything. They should do okay. They're size 40s, so I guess it's like a size 10 or maybe a 9. Um, they're just like a metallic gold. And I have a pair of Jimmy Choo boots in my closet, but they're, there's a little tear on the back of them. Um, really, that's the only thing wrong with them. They're not going to sell. <laughs> they're just going to sit forever. Um, I got these Michael Kors boots. Uh-oh. Well, I didn't realize that the pulley on this one is gone, but that's minor. Um, so these are just like a black wedge suede heel. And I'm assuming the pulley on the other one is not missing. No, oh, it is too. So they're both missing. That's nice. I'll have to maybe buy pulleys off of like Amazon or something. I don't really know just to kind of correct that. But anyway, I might just sell as is. We'll see. There's that. Um, and then I got a J. Crew mercantile dress. It's just a striped dress. I got my kids some kind of anime top and t-shirt. I don't know what it is, but I figured she'd like it. And then last but not least, I got a little Bon Jovi t-shirt because you know a lot of the ladies like Bon Jovi. So that is what I got from the bins. Alright, so I'm done packaging all my shipments. I only had four, and this is four things that sold after Monday at 3 p.m. Tuesday and then this morning so not a lot it's been pretty slow but I had a pretty good Sunday so that's usually the start to my week so I'll go ahead and share with you the items that sold so I had a vintage Clio uh, giraffe print skirt really soft like a velvety type of skirt um, right below the knee really cute um, I had a sell that was on Poshmark and then I had one sell on eBay which was a Bowdoin dress Bowdoin seems to sell pretty quickly the dresses do on eBay and Poshmark so um, that one sold. And then on Poshmark, I had a Sam Edelman, uh, the Black Yardley suede lace-up sandals sold. And then I believe those sold for $39 last night. And then Soft Surroundings, Silk Button Down Top sold today. And I think it was for $15. Yeah, it sold for $15. Um, and then, of course, this morning, I had a Cavu, or this afternoon, I've had a Cavu uh, Sidewinder crossbody purse sold. But... Um, I'm not going to ship this one until Friday because I've already, I, I want to wait that three hours so they can't cancel. I don't want to ship it off and then, you know, they'll get a free item and I'll get nothing. So I'm going to go to the post office now. It's actually 50% off day at the Google outlet. So I may go in there with 20 bucks and just see if there's anything that I can flip quick. I don't want to spend a lot of time in there. Um, it's usually really busy on Wednesdays. So yeah, that's the plan. So fast forward a week. It is Thursday, August 26th. I'm going to show you the items that I got on August 18th, last Wednesday, on 50% off day at the Benz. After this portion of the video, I'm going to share with you how much I made last week on Poshmark and eBay, and then the video will be complete. <laughs> I promise. I'm going to get better at this. I'm just, I, I've got to, I got to get more organized. But anyway, let's go ahead and look at what I picked up. So the first thing I got was this top it's um ag jeans or ag is what it says it just says ag um i, th I think that's adriana goldschmidt i believe but it's just like this denim i guess it's kind of like a denim stretchy denim top uh the next piece just a pair of black nike pros leggings for runners decent I have trouble selling these, to be quite honest. Um, I mean, I can sell them for like 10 bucks, no issue. Um, but I always try to list them at like 25. And I remember at one point, these were selling for a lot of money. And I don't know what happened. I guess they got completely oversaturated. Um, but when I first started selling on Poshmark, I remember, I don't remember exactly which reseller it was, but they were talking about Nike Pro sold for like up to 70 bucks. Lies, uh, lies. Anyway. Next thing are these Trina Turk. It's a brand I don't, I would not pick up at the retail side, but I will pick up at the bin side because I'm assuming it'll sell, but that's the brand. And they're just really cute. They're just like a tropical, like, you know, pant. They have like a slit down on the sides. Really cute for the beach cruise. Then I got two pairs of Eileen Fisher pants. Eileen Fisher pants, 
pants actually sell for me. Um, these I think are the older label. These are both extra smalls, but I got a pair of black ones. What's what um, fabric is this? Viscose, nylon, and lycra. So these are just like a black stretchy pant. And then I got a pair of white ones that have no stains. Shocking, I know. Um, exact same style. They're just white. Well, they look a little smaller in the ankle. So that's those. Then I grabbed this. This is a polo by Ralph Lauren. That's another brand that I don't pick up at the Goodwill retail side. I will pick up at the bins on 50% off day. Um, but this is the label. It's just a leather, I guess it's like a bomber jacket. It's got like the little logo right here. It's in really good shape. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I see one sold for a hundred bucks on Poshmark. I mean, if I get, you know, 40 bucks, I'll be okay. Even if I got 20 bucks, I'd be fine. So, um, good shape, good find. I got this pretty colorful bohemian style bag. Really cute. I picked up an anthropology dress. This one is the HWR, I guess the monogram. Is that what it's called? Monogram. And it's just a striped dress. Probably won't sell for but 20 bucks, if that. Then I found this gorgeous Carlisle collection. Um, this one is cashmere, 100%. And I did not see any holes, which is really good at the bins. <laughs> But it's this pretty sweater. It's got like a flare sleeve. I think this will sell pretty quickly. And I'm going to put it on eBay too. Then I found another somewhat designer piece. Uh, Robert Rodriguez. And it's just this pretty black top. This one. Kind of like a see-through. Up at the top part up here. And the sleeves. Really nice. And it's a size small. Then I got a shower curtain this one is by hotel nouveau and it's just like a white shower curtain it's not bad it's pretty decent i'm gonna actually keep this for myself i'm not going to resell that got athleta just another bikini top i just sold one the, they seem to sell not for a lot but for a decent amount um and then oh <laughs> I grabbed this. I wasn't really sure about this one, but it's just like a sun and moon. It's Hot Topic on the back. It's got the Salem and it has like raw hems on the sleeves. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. So I was going to look this up and see if I could find one similar, but I'll probably keep this for myself. And then last for the little trip was a Gap Factory, but it's just a cute little sweater. I thought it was adorable. So I picked it up. And that's everything that I got on 50% off day last Wednesday. So, well, I got the shower curtain yesterday. Um, so that's everything that I got last Wednesday at the Goodwill outlet. Now I'm going to go to the video I recorded sharing my solds with you. All right, so I'm back at the house now and I have all of my items that I'm gonna be packing to ship from the weekend that sold on Poshmark and, uh, Poshmark and, oh, eBay. <laughs> yeah, so on eBay, I only had a total of five sales and they all totaled $125. So I really don't do a lot on eBay. Um, I focus more on Poshmark. It's just so much easier to list on Poshmark. It's easier. Uh, everything is just easier on Poshmark, in my opinion. And I think things sell for a little bit more on Poshmark than they do on eBay. Um, you know, there may be more people on eBay shopping, but you know, when it comes to the clothing and stuff, it's just a little more complicated, I think, to list clothes on eBay. So yeah, I stick with Poshmark. It works really well for me. Um, I do want to kind of go over like my numbers for this last week on Poshmark and just kind of talk a little bit about some things that I've changed and I've noticed a huge difference in myself. So, um, this past week I had 35 sales and my revenue was $836. Now my profit, this is before cost of goods have been taken out, was $666.35. Um, I had a sell every single day except for, well on Wednesday I had one sell. But like Sunday I had nine sales, Monday three sales, Tuesday two sales, Wednesday one sell. 
and then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, seven, seven, and six. So like it's been pretty steady throughout the week. Um, I have to say that I changed my pricing strategy and if you want me to do a video on this, it's extremely easy. Um, I started using the suggested prices that Poshmark has in place, but I didn't like use those numbers. I added some, you know, to those numbers. But when I started doing this, I started getting sell after sell after sell after sell. And I was just like, what? <laughs> That's a little strange, but um, it works. And I'm just going to continue um, to price my items like that. I think that's the one thing that I struggled the most with was pricing my items correctly. I either had them priced way too high or way too low. And now I feel like they're all right there where they're supposed to be. And people are actually, you know, buying the stuff. So, um, I have a very low, uh, cost of goods. Like I try to keep it at $2 and under. So for me, you know, doing this strategy works perfectly. Um, but yeah, so as for, and I'm using the Seller Insight um, dashboard on my, my iPhone. Um, it's a really nice program. I think I pay $9.99 a month for it, but it's completely worth it. It would be nice if Poshmark would just implement something like this instead of us having to download the sales report and do all that. Um, this is extremely handy. Um, but, so my average uh, profit per sale was $19.04. And... The average days listed for each sale was 21 days. I paid $169.65 in seller fees. And yeah, that's that. So, I mean, overall the week was really, really good. I will look real quick. Now, if you want me to do like a what sold video showing you the items that sold last week, just let me know in the comments below and I'll work on that and I'll have that up like Wednesday or Thursday. Um, but that's if you want to see that. I know some people like seeing those videos and then some people don't. And I think I did them for a while and then I quit because it just didn't seem like anybody was watching those videos. Um, so anyway, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and start packing items for shipment. It is now 1.17 p.m. My daughter will be here at 3.45 p.m. So if I can get these packed and shipped off before 2, um, then I will be able to come home and take photos for an hour. When my daughter gets here at 3.45, I have to literally take her directly to her therapy appointment at 4, which is right down the street. Um, and then we're there for basically an hour wait you know i'm there waiting usually i will list my items when i'm waiting in the waiting room so i will probably do that and then when we come back home then of course my work day is over i have to start my household work day where i finish my laundry and my kid you know have her help me clean her room because i'm not gonna do it myself um and you know straight in the house cook dinner all that good stuff i also have to go to the gym again so that's it. <laughs> a lot of stuff gets done in my day, but I will sleep like a baby tonight. So I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.